Building elevators in Grounded can be a tricky proposition, but with this guide you'll be able to build a bouncy behemoth sized elevator tower that stretches to the stars if you really want to. The key to building these elevators fast and easy is to use the clipping placement option in the build menu to strategically clip your bounce web to the floor in a specific direction. You'll want to rotate the bounce web so that this slightly curved edge is facing towards the direction where you want your elevator to be positioned. Next, you'll need to use grass walls for this design. Matter of fact, I highly recommend using a grass floor as the foundation as well, but I'll discuss more about why later on. Anyway, place the grass walls around the bounce web. One should clip into position on the side where you want the elevator to be, and the next one will clip onto one of the adjacent sides. Sometimes the order in which you place the bounce webs and the walls can impact the placement of the blueprints, so setting down the first bounce web can sometimes be complicated. So if you encounter difficulties, you can try placing down the walls and the bounce webs in a different order. Once your first bounce web and bottom walls are in place, you can start to build up higher and higher. Make sure that you keep the walls facing the same directions as you build and also ensure that the arrows of the blueprints are pointing out and away from the bounce web to ensure a safe and secure elevator construction. I also recommend placing your additional bounce webs using the same directions as before every two floors for a faster and more reliable elevator system. You can also place a bounce web every three floors as well, but in my experience that design doesn't function as quickly or as effectively as the other. If you're interested in learning additional information about building elevators in Grounded, then you're in luck because if you're a fan of Grounded themed Grounded related content presented in tutorial format, then you've come to the right channel because that's basically all that I do here. And if you enjoy that, then you could do me a huge favor by gently touching the like button. And I hope that this video earns your subscription today. What up? It's Tiny Pirate Gaming bouncing back with another grounded tutorial video going over everything you need to know about building elevators fast and easy. If you follow the guide from the start of the video, you'll be able to construct gigantic towers anywhere in the yard, and because currently there is no build limit in the game, the sky is no limit to how high you can go. Also, be aware that there are alternate ways of constructing these types of elevators, but in my experience, none of the other designs function as safely or as reliably as this particular design. This design is also significantly faster to build because it exploits the clip building function as opposed to having to manually place each bounce web at the proper angle. Another helpful tip that I've noticed is that if you make the base of the bounce web elevator anything other than a grass floor, it is less likely to function as safely, which is why I mentioned earlier making sure you start your elevator with a grass floor foundation. Elevators built on other floors or foundations can still be functional, but in some cases they may not work as effectively as the same type of elevator that starts on a grass floor. One downside to this design is that you won't be able to fully enclose the elevator's bounce web components with walls due to the building constraints caused by the positioning needed to make the elevator function properly. Also, keep in mind that sometimes during grounded updates, the positioning of the bounce webs can shift slightly while using the build menu, so I advise against building elevators during public test servers. Also, be aware that much like the Bax technique, the construction of these elevators was not an intended game mechanic but was instead discovered through experimentation from the grounded community of players and is therefore technically classified as an exploit. An exploit that may or may not be eventually patched out of grounded as the game is further developed by Obsidian Entertainment moving forward into 2022. But even if it is patched out, the grounded player base is likely to uncover new secrets with each additional update. And if you're a fan of grounded secrets being revealed, then you're in luck because revealing said secrets is some of what I do here on Tiny Pirate Gaming. And if you enjoy that, then you could do me a huge favor by gently touching the like button, and I hope that this video earned your subscription today. You can also follow me on Twitch for live streams, Twitter for channel news, or join the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord to discuss grounded gaming content creation and more along with me and the rest of the hashtag Tiny Crew. So whether I see you here, over on the Twitch sphere, or someplace else around the streamiverse, just know that I really appreciate your support and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Arg matey, watch your step.
there'd be a tiny pirate here. <laughs>